Blackneck stilts eat small prey along the shoreline, including shrimp, crayfish, snails, beetles, and occasionally small fish. On this day, I could tell that they were eating something, but I couldn't tell for sure what they were eating until I got home and looked at the footage a little slower. They moved so fast that the first thing I thought of is they need to switch to decaf. Once I got home and looked at things a little slower, I was pretty sure that they were eating snails. You can see this one is trying to separate the snails from the algae that surrounds it. And it even got the snail out of the water and still couldn't quite get the algae off of it. So it had to try again. But once they get the snail separated from the algae, the snail goes right down the hatch pretty quickly. Then it's off to the next snail. Some of the snails were very tiny and I couldn't see them at all until I looked at them on a larger screen. One interesting fact about the black neck stilt is they are closely related to the American avocet and are capable of hybridizing and producing young. Their legs are so long that they do sometimes look like they're walking on stilts. I spotted this black neck stilt at Quivira National Wildlife Refuge. The same day I shot this footage, I saw quite a few American avocets also. Quivira Wildlife Refuge just happens to be in the Central Flyway. The Central Flyway is a migratory route the birds use to get from Canada to the southern parts of the United States and farther south. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.